Now, your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. This morning, the search continues for a Detroit man wanted for shooting and injuring seven people at a hookah club in West Virginia. Police believe Kaimoni Davis is behind the shooting. The shooting went down New Year's Day at the Culture Hookah Club in Huntington, West Virginia. Police don't believe the shooting was random and say the 30-year-old suspected gunman is considered armed and dangerous. Detroit Police Chief James Craig tells us they're working uh, to assist West Virginia police in locating Davis. There are warrants out for Davis in Detroit for burglary and domestic violence. He's also wanted in Illinois for fraud. A deadly shooting remains under investigation this morning in Inkster. Michigan State Police say a man in his 20s was found dead inside of a garage. That shooting happened around 7 last night in the area of New York and Princess. When police arrived on the scene, they found several bullet casings. After searching the area, they came across the body of a man in a nearby garage. A motive for this shooting is not clear. No arrests have been made yet. Welcome back. Here's a look at the temperatures we have right now. We're mostly in the 40s. A few of us are actually in the 30s in some spots. Ann Arbor at 39 degrees. Our highs today are going to have a pretty good shot at climbing up into the 40s, so it's going to be a nice setup overall. But this will be the last day that we're going to see some milder temperatures. But Brighton's at around 38 degrees currently. We'll stay mostly cloudy throughout the rest of this morning into the afternoon, which will hold on to the numbers into the 40s throughout much of the day. So just looking at the school day forecast here from the pickup, we'll have some light rain possible, uh, cloudy skies by lunchtime, and also cloudy skies later this afternoon as well. And this, because of the clouds that we'll have, the numbers are not going to move all that much. Now the clouds will eventually transition here where we're going to have an opportunity to pick up some snow showers going into Saturday and then we can do this all over again going into Sunday. So the weekend headlines would be the opportunities for snow and also the opportunity for those temperatures to go in the opposite direction. Winter is going to return. These have been your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News.